All right, I know the season is a blast for you and, and your scouting department, but this draft time, is it a time you really relish this, this time of year? Yeah, because it's the time where you get to you know, reset it. Now, everybody wants to be playing in the Super Bowl, but now we're going to try and get back and rally to, uh, to get there next year. So it's an important time for us to get to know these guys and, and, and see what we can bring to the team. Yeah, absolutely. You look at this senior bowl crop and this draft class as a whole, really deep tackle class. Mm -hmm. Is that something you guys really like as well? And what are you all seeing so far here at Mobile? Yeah, I mean, I think number one, watching the offensive linemen, getting an opportunity to see them in different settings and doing some NFL stuff, you get to evaluate uh, that ability. But there's good players at all the different positions, and um, so we get an opportunity to run through there and then meet them and find out who they are. It talk to me about the scouting process defensively this year around. I mean, Dan Quinn obviously going through his rounds of interviews, not really knowing what the leadership might look up, up top here in a couple of weeks, but how do you kind of go through business as usual as you're going through the scouting process? Yeah, at the end of the day, when you're looking for players, you're looking for we're looking for the biggest strongest fastest most athletic guys uh, and and seeing how they fit into our scheme um, whatever that scheme is we've got to evaluate the players and if that scheme changes at any point in time you still have that historical value as to like what guys are and then how do they fit you mentioned organizational structure that it kind of plays into scouting as well does that kind of play into it with this issue as well yeah, it does. It, it really does. It plays into it because you've got to, you know, you're going to get good players, but now you've got to find those players to come fit. And then we got to go through the full process of everybody understanding what we're looking for, what we're doing, and then what we think about the players and then how we value them. And then looking at the existing personnel, over a quarter of the active roster are going to be free agents going into this offseason. How challenging is this offseason specifically towards years of the past? Every year it's the same challenge. You know, when the season ends, um, you know, you go through it and you say a third of the guys won't be back. Uh, and so that's the part of roster building. That's what keeps us excited about it. That's what keeps us coming here, looking at free agency and all that, and then finding the right group of people to bring into our, and, you know, our group. Yeah, and speaking of the free agent market and knowing that there's needed cap flexibility in mind, how do you kind of go forward with the evaluation process of potential free agents? Not quite knowing how big the checkbook will be, if that makes sense. We've got to grade them all. We've got to go through it. We've got to know who they are, you know, uh, have our uh, rankings and evaluations of them and, and then see what happens because, you know, the thing about free agency, there's that big boom initially and then, you know, it's it's the last seat. So you're trying to find guys that fit you, that fit your price range. Yeah, I want to talk about the middle of that defense. How much of a need do you all feel like is that for this offseason? Um, I, I think it's big. I mean, there's every area of the team. We didn't win the championship, so we got to get better at every position. Um, you know, we we got we want to see the growth from our young players. Uh, we want to see our veteran players continue to bring us along where we need to, and we got to find those young guys that you can bring in and make sure that you know you built a strong team all the way through. Yeah, specifically the linebacker position. How do you evaluate that? What you have right now, obviously, kind of. Not knowing what Layton Steele is, mm -hmm. and Marvian, his rehab as well. Just kind of the, the linebacker position holistically, how have y'all been able to? Yeah, it's we've got to go find. I mean, really, the game has changed. It's not the old school where you got three linebackers. So, you know, you've got to cover backs, you got to cover tight ends. Um, so you go through and you look at those positions and those players. And it's not a, it hasn't been a deep draft or so you've got to go out and find and that's why we go look at the free agents you know and then find those kids in the draft that have traits and if they're coachable and we've got the right coaches we you know that gives us the opportunity for them to grow and flip it on the offensive side of the ball jerry you mentioned yesterday uh stopping the run and then the running game those are two big things are trying to improve going into 2024 mm -hmm. Uh, what's your evaluation of the running game from 2023 and what y'all can do this offseason to help that? Um, I, you know, the running game, it, it's um, all predicated on, you know, the blocking, the runner, the situation, all of those things. I, and I think what Mike has done is a great job of incorporating and tying the run and the pass game together. But with that, you've got to have offensive linemen that can move people off of the ball. They can also play in space. Uh, and really, it's that grit and that strain. What are we trying to do? What's going to put us over the top? And that's why we're here at the Senior Bowl is to find out who's got that stuff that can bring to the roster and make it even better. Yeah, bringing it back here to Mobile over the course of the last decade. What are your, some of your favorite memories here, whether it was seeing Dak back in uh, 2014, I think it was, or wherever else? I, I think it's, you know, every year is always a different um, environment, different challenge. You get to meet these kids. You get to find out more about them. But my favorite uh, memory was when we were here and we uh, were coaching in the game. You get that full access to them. You get to find out a little bit more about them because you get to spend all that time with them. And we – you know, we've drafted our quarterback from there, and, and uh, you know, he's been great for us. So that's the, the, the great part about this. Yeah, and then from an acquisition standpoint or just a roster standpoint in general, what would a successful offseason look like for you at the end of the day? 
Um, it's getting the peat filling our needs, um, you know, and, and, and finding better players that can help us get to the point. That's the off season to me is improving uh, in every way that we can. And I know going into the off season, there were a couple of teams that have reached out to you. What's so special about being here this season and wanting to accomplish it with this, with this team? Um, you know, you set a goal. And, and, you know, one of my goals is to um, be a part of winning a Super Bowl here with the Cowboys. And we've built something great. You've got a great staff, uh, you know, the coaching staff and the organization. So it's, uh, you know, there's nothing like winning one at home. And that's truly the, the, the goal. And just coming back to the Senior Bowl again, why is coming to the Senior Bowl so important for you, for Steve, and for Jerry? Year after year, you guys come here and you draft players from here. The Senior Bowl is uh, helpful to us and it's a unique experience because we get to interview. When you think about uh, the draft process in football, our opportunities to visit with the players are very limited. The Senior Bowl uh, gives us an opportunity to sit down with them, find out who they are, but also watch them in these different situations, how they react, and then find out more about them as people.